Welcome back to Kirby Curb, Kirby Curb Cave, Kirby Offensive Cave, Kirby. The Great Curb yep. Offensive. Of course. We're all caught up on treasures, so we're looking pretty good so far. Sweet. So, uh, guess we'll just get to moving. Mm. We, did the, we did the first door on the left last time. Now we're going to do the second door here and move on from there. And there's a chest there, but, well, no! that current's a bit too strong for us, so we're going to have to go up and around. Ow. Ow. God. I think we'll need yo-yo at some point. Maybe not now. <laughs> what was that guy? <laughs> That's, oh, you mean the jet thing? Yeah, the little jetpack guy. Oh yeah, we'll we'll show off jet a little bit later. Okay, cause that was really funny. Cause there's a shit ton of fucking powers in this game. In Superstar in general, or just in the Great Cave Offensive? Superstar in general, I mean. Okay. Cause we're gonna be uh, focusing on a lot of them in Milky Way Wishes. Oh. Yeah. You tease. Oh yes. Because, you know, we got past Kirby's Dreamland too. Mm -hmm. Now it's now it's just going to be nothing but fun. Okay. Maybe good. a little, maybe a little bit in Kirby sixty four. It's going to be yeah. Here we go with the chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That's fabulous. Check out my treasure. Still good there. Ah, no. Oh. Right, for this oh. one, you're going to want to you're going to want to hang left. There's blocks here that oh my God. destroy. You know, this reminds me of Spelunky. No oh, shit, right? Let's go and get the treasures. Summertime. So, when do you uh, offer the damsel as a sacrifice? Uh, actually, this is more of an eggplant game. Oh. You know the eggplant run in Spelunky? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What the... Why did you do that? I'm trying to see. Now the water current is pushing me uh, pretty fast, so I need to make sure I do this just uh, right. Uh, yeah! $100 coin worth 10000 10, <laughs> hmm. Well, I, I guess some collector out there would like it. I feel like the yen to dollar ratio is a bit skewed in this world. <laughs> Inflation might be a little bad right now. So I'm about to die, but I hit the switch. Maximum tomato. Fucking A. Save the game. All right. That was so fast. Are you a speedrunner? Nah. But I can imagine how uh, easy and fun it'd be to speedrun Kirby games. It would be so nice. I mean, without using wheel and wing all the time. Right, right, right. Because I like, you know, using the foot races, like those, the walkathon uh, uh, speed runs that people do for Super Mario Brothers. That's a thing? Yeah, but they don't they don't use the B button at all. What? Yeah, that's that's a real thing. You can do that. You can do that. Oh my god. So, uh, speaking of speed runs, I've been watching a few lately, and uh, I don't know, just for some Falcon reason. Falcon helmet F zero. Love it. But uh, for some reason, people talking about being fast in menus is just really funny to me. I mean, uh, it's it sounds silly at first, but when you really think about it, it's like, well, like, yeah, it makes sense yeah. to me. It's, yeah. I mean, you gotta be fast in your menus. I mean, you can't sit there and start me like, oh, uh, that's a uh, upgrade luck. So that's that all cool. copy does. It's just a slower inhale. <laughs> God, this isn't it's useful a, at all. Oh, we got a dud. It's a dud, so to speak. Yes. But it still costs 30 bucks. How does that work? Scrap metal. Ah, okay. Because that did look like a like a dud nuke or something like that. A dud bomb, at least. Not a nuke. Well, now I'm uh, wondering about the uh, the lore of Kirby. Was there some sort of nuclear bomb that took everything out? Why else are there walking nuclear bombs walking around? That is a very good question. And doesn't Kirby 64 have some, like, hidden lore somewhere? Yeah. In one level. In mm -hmm. one world. That isn't Popstar. Right, so uh, might as well save that for when we actually get there. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks for trying, Wheelie Rider. Oh God, what's happening? He's dying. Oh, I I didn't I didn't realize and there was wind in this one. Yeah, that's why you need wheel. But in truth, <laughs> we don't really need it. Brilliant. 
Five stars. Yes. And I got wheel anyway. So now we're getting to the boss of the crystal area, and oh. it's certainly the most unique one you're probably going to find in any Kirby game. Okay. Prepare yourself. Is there mode seven? Not quite. What the hell? No way. It's the RPG boss. No way. Way. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> this is cool. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought right, so to do this? Defending doesn't quite work on these attacks. I thought they did. I guess I'll just use Wheelie Rider here. Takes a time out. Because I'm not doing anything, but Wheelie's doing all the work for me. Ah, okay. Dancing doll. Wow, you and Wheelie do so much damage. Yeah. Dancing doll sleeping, but nothing Ooh, happened. Hammer! Oh, man. Oh, that's what you get for I being wanted, on Wheelie. I wanted hammer, though. Is it trying to use splash on you? It does nothing. What? 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 Whoa! Wait, whoa, whoa! whoa Maybe we whoa, should. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Maybe we should talk about the uh, the nuclear capabilities. <laughs> that, uh, that, hey, wait! Wow! So and there is hidden lore here. Oh, I'm not looking so good here. No, you're not. Oh, ah! Oof. Well, you know how these usually work. I, uh, die the first time, and then the second time is a speed run. We'll go with Jet. This should be good. Jet, Jet's a pretty overpowered ability, because I don't think we ever see Jet again. Hello, slime. Oh. That's 36 points right there, not you, bad. You know what's bugging me? What's that? Not everything is lined up. That life bar is overlapping the monster bar. Oh, you're right. Oh, fix it. Ugh. I, 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 I can't. No, I, I will deal with it then. Jesus. Okay, so yeah, I like Jet. Sorry to all of my uh, OCD watchers if that <laughs> bothers you. I'm, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. That That's why I'm doing what I can to destroy it so it doesn't affect my viewers anymore. Or my co-host. Mm. Retreats! Fuck off! Uh, uh no retreating here. Kirby's defeated all the enemies! Yay! He gets 7 experience points! Not that it matters. Four <laughs> ambition points! Okay. Three appetite points! <laughs> Alright! Four happy smile points! Yay! Two beauty points! Alright. Oh, so pretty. Two fever points! Two love points! Trojan deleted. <laughs> AVG, thank you! I feel like that also might be a bit of a reference to, like, some early PC HAL game or whatever. Yeah, it's possible. Because that, that's a very old-school type thing, like, you know, that's even retro for when this game came out. Sans, no! Ah! I know he does look like Sans, doesn't he? So now we are in the third level! The castle! That's a big castle. Over here is our save area. So we'll uh, get the mushroom and we'll save. <gasps> oh! We still got loads of time, so let's go ahead and do some exploring. Anyway, okay. It's this this level through the castle area. And that was it. What? Oh, okay. This entire castle is the third level. It is, oh. chock, it, it is chock full of treasures, and it is the most dickish thing. Like, welcome to the Sen's Fortress. Of Kirby Superstar, you know what I'm saying? Jeez. That's a Dark Souls reference, mate. Yeah, that's that's why I totally understood it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, first up, we're going to head to this room, and there's a chest here. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> God. Let's get this for a second, guys. Star Tiara. Ooh. Okie dokie. Huh, alright. That worked well, out. I guess that works, you know, cheat the system. 
Alright, anything else here? I mean, mm -hmm. might as well do some exploring. Yeah, that's, what we're, that's what we're doing pretty much. We're just uh, giving this third level here a bit of a look, looky loo. Oh, we nice. Move on. Yeah, nothing here. Anything down here? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. That's the way back out. I guess we'll just move on to this door over here. <laughs> did you just pick up the enemy and put him in your jet engine? I did, yes. Oh, God. Try not to think about it too much. But that monster had no face. <laughs> not after like you were done with him. I feel like Masahiro Sakurai would make a great, a fantastic rendition of Ichi the Killer or something. <laughs> I think you he think should make the evil within. <laughs> You think about how sadistic this game truly is. I mean, all, all it takes is just some gore physics and some messed up sprites, and bam, there's Kirby EXE right there. Jeez. Well, they already got the the YouTube video where they just add screams to everything, and it becomes <laughs> five times more gruesome. And it makes so much sense. I know. <laughs> it makes too much sense. Oh, that's why I love that video. So, oh, uh, the idea... Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Anyway. Well, we're still caught up on treasures, so we're looking okay. Looking all right there. Uh, there's a door up here, but this leads to later on in the level. It kind of acts as a midway checkpoint. There's still plenty of castle to go from here to there. <laughs> so we're going to do a lot of backtracking. In this fucking Jeez. place. So this castle, you said there's four segments, right? Yeah. Uh, uh this cave. There's four segments. This cave, right, right. But this, this castle, is... it's it counts for like two from the looks of it. Yeah, it counts as one. That's insane. Yeah. This is this is one, because you would have gone on to level four and missed all that treasure if you were just focusing on getting to the end. <laughs> That's true. So, if you defend with mirror, you can actually reflect enemy shots back. Oh. Nifty, right? And all that gets us a unicorn's horn. Yeah. Wow. Perfectly snapped off to sell at black markets. I guess unicorns exist in Kirby. <laughs> Not <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Yeah, they used to live down here in the Great Cave Offensive, but now they're just all died out. I'm thinking, is, is, is there maybe a Great Cave Defensive? Ooh, that'd be interesting. Something to fight the Great Cave Offensive? Like, instead of a cave being full of uh, tons of fucking things that can kill you, it's uh, just really difficult to get in. Hmm. Yeah, don't destroy that bomb. There's a switch over here. Ah. That drives a chest. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Autumn time. As in, I wish it was autumn time. It's too damn hot these days. Mm-hmm. Agreed. And we missed three treasures somehow. Hmm. How? I don't think we missed anything, did we? Well, it's not like uh, if we miss a treasure, it's going to be too far away. Because it's all interconnected, right? Da. All right. All right. All right. Uh, back yeah, into the castle. Uh, back to the beginning of the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you see well, why hey. it's like. You, you see why it's like Sims Fortress? I mean, if there were any times to make a Dark Souls Kirby reference, it would be here. <laughs> it just reminds me of something I retweeted the other day. I don't know if you saw that. It was the Steam review. Of uh, uh, it was a Steam review of Doom, it's like Dark Souls. You're in a room with demons, and oh, Doom. Yeah. The demons are in a room with you. <laughs> <laughs> so perfect. Uh, I didn't see where you could have missed any treasures, though. I, I, I know, right? I mean, I think we kind of combed through everything just fine. We've hmm. we backtracked enough to know for sure, after all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I guess here we can just drop that and well, down later. He goes. <laughs> That's so mean. Bonkers is dead because of you. All right, back to Meta Knights, dudes. Yeah, Meta Knights, dudes. I noticed they were back. Meta Knight is indeed in this game. And in... now I think I, kn 
I, I think I know what his non-specific revenge is about. It's about what happened in Kirby's Adventure. Mm-hmm. Because... Kirby's Adventure 1, he's just, you know, friend or foe, friend or foe, is you know, what could he be? And then you fight him, and then you kick his ass. And he doesn't show up for Kirby's Dream Land 2, probably brooding or some shit. <laughs> and, then here, and then he shows up in the Kirby's Dream, uh, uh, Kirby Superstar, and beyond, and he's fucking, rev he's got revenge or something. It's always revenge. So we need Yo-Yo to break this bomb down here. Excellent. So food to get my health back up, and there's a treasure chest right there. Oh, oh, I thought it cool. fell. <laughs> Going back to Metadite, you've seen, uh, right back at you, right? Regrettably, yes. How they give Metadite kind of a, a Antonio Banderas accent? <laughs> but I don't get it. I, Why? <laughs> I don't either, but I think it's really funny. Because he's like fucking Zorro, right? Is is, is that the reference? I I guess. Why the I, fuck is Rick Australian? I, I don't I don't didn't know. know. Didn't know hamsters were Australian, huh? I I don't know. I just think it's funny that the guy doing Meta Knight's voice is also Seto Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh, and that makes me really happy. Make more sense if Flick was fucking Australian, or if uh, <laughs> Nago even. Maybe Kine. Make kind Australian. Yeah, you'd be from the Great Barrier Reef. See? It works! It's like, Crikey, I just saw Steve Irwin get killed by a stingray! Oh, God! How could you? Too soon? Uh, I don't know. It's been a few years. Actually, uh... Oh, cool, you got Mike. What's that, uh... Mike? What's Steve Harvey's game show? What was that, Family Feud? The price is... no. Yeah, Family Feud. It is Family Feud. Uh, I saw Steve Irwin's family on Family Feud, and uh, also saw Steve Harvey make a really bad Australian accent in front of his family. I was like, that's great. Just every time I see Steve Harvey in that in his game shows, it looks like he just wants to die. He does. He does. Oh, yeah! That, that reminds me, that exact same show. Sorry, I just had to hear that. It's so great. Go. I actually, uh, the category was something you can buy with money. And one of the family said people. Why would you say that? Whoa, man. Oh, we missed one. Oh. And her, her excuse was, uh, oh, you know, like, like hire a teacher. I was like, bullshit. Don't give me that. I knew exactly what you were thinking. Yeah. Maids, you fucking weeaboo. Exactly. I'll take it. Alright, so here's an interesting challenge. Ooh. These are uh, sleep pedestals. You, you touch uh, them, you automatically get sleep. <laughs> and that's uh, gonna push like you this. all the way back to the beginning. I like this. This is clever. Uh, oh, no. oh, God, we're sleeping. Uh, and oh, we're double sleeping. Look at that fantastic game design. It's great. And you're getting health back, too, which is the first time no. sleep has done anything. Am I? I, I thought you were. Just like, little, little bit. I didn't hey, think Mr. I Saturn. was. Let's, let's see. No, oh, I, I guess, no, I guess I it's don't just think flashing. So. I, think, I think the flashing is just uh, fucking with your brain, dude. <laughs> I, I guess. Uh, too, too many flashing colors. Ah. I know I'm about to die, game! Thank you! <laughs> Oh, and then you get to pick up bombs? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'll go with bombs. Any day. Ah! You were well, saying. Maybe not, maybe not this day. <laughs> yeah. Not today. Oh, God! God! It was right there! They... they... saw that oh, coming. Oh, my you know, you God! Know, you, know, you know, no, 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 you know. <laughs> All right. I think that, uh... That's a good signal that uh, we are done for today. Okay. Uh, that's that's uh, that's that's gonna be it for now. I'm going to uh, just sit in the corner and think about what I've done. I'm just I'm just gonna. <sighs> You're gonna hit the music. Well, hit the music and. Uh... I mean, I don't- WHOA!